Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be talking about the Silencio Velos LBP. So that's low back pressure. This is a dedicated 556 suppressor. It's got new construction, you know, so it's got a 3D printed Inconel core in there with some stainless steel. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys different numbers than what's on the website. So when we talk about form factor, the silencer code numbers on the website vary from a little bit from what I'm about to give you just because I'm gonna give you the numbers for how it ships from the factory. When it ships from the factory, it's got the ASR mount on there, which I'm assuming the silencer code numbers on the website, they're giving you the numbers of just the suppressor. So as it is right now, it's gonna be 6.75 inches long and it's gonna be 19.4 ounces. So it's a dedicated 556 suppressor, full auto rated. It's gonna be a durable suppressor. MSRP on this guy is gonna be 1174. Street price on it is gonna be a lot less than that. It's pretty readily available. Let's go ahead and talk about what you're going to get in the box though. So when you unbox it, you get a nice pretty box. And then inside, it's pretty cool. You get two wrenches. So the wrenches, we'll talk about how they're being used for this later. And let's talk about the mount. You're going to get one half by 28 ASR flash hider. And then at the very, very, very bottom, you're going to get your field manual. And then you're going to get a sticker, suppressor pouch, and some rock set. So they get you all squared away, guys. You know, they give you the multiple device and the rock set for you to install a suppressor. Let's talk about the mount, though. You know, the mount's pretty interesting. On the suppressor, we get the ASR mount. And if you want to, the suppressor is actually threaded. So if you don't want to use the ASR mount, you can take this off. You know, you can put on a different suppressor mount. But let's go ahead and talk about the ASR mount as we have it. Got another barrel here that's got it. So you'll see that we've got very coarse threads on the muzzle device itself. We've got a taper here, and then we've got teeth. So when you install the suppressor, you're just gonna put it on, you're gonna rotate it, you'll feel it stop, and then you got this locking collar here. So when you turn that locking collar, it's now in the locked position, and that locking collar, we'll go ahead and take it off real quick, and I can show you guys how this works. So inside the mount, when we turn this ring, you'll see this set of teeth and that set of teeth. And as we turn those and we lock the collar, they end up sticking out and protruding into these teeth. So that's pretty much how it locks up. It's pretty simple, it's fairly easy to use, and it's pretty intuitive. A few minutes later. All right, so we're on the range. We got the Velos, we got the saw, so we're gonna fire 100 rounds unsuppressed, throw this guy on there, and then fire another 100 rounds. And guys, we don't have any sponsors here. All this is funded directly by y'all. If you like this kind of testing, best way to keep it going, go to rooftopdefense.com, buy some gun parts, let me feed you, like, sub, hit the comment section, go batshit crazy. Five minutes later. 